All right, so, so you got the George Foreman set up over For here? For sure, back to the days, George Foreman. That's how we doing, grilling. I've been cooking because I don't trust restaurant food no more. If you know me, you know I go out to eat each and every day. I don't know who calling me, but I don't trust restaurants no more. No, that's nobody in the court. I don't trust restaurant foods no more, so I've been cooking, going to Sam's, going to Wegmans, getting me some meat. Ribeyes, seasoned them up for the week. That's enough for three, four days. That's chicken breast, six chicken breasts so I done cut up. You marinated your own stuff now? Yeah, I'm cooking, man. Back in the lab, basic seasoning. Eat it off the board, nice and stuff. I'm living like that, real beast mode. Look, check the fridge, number protein shakes, hot sauce. Back to the basics, water, a gallon of water a day. I'm taking my health very serious this time, you know what I mean? I owe it to myself. I'm back to like when I was in the NFL days. Like, so how much chicken shit are you eating a day for steak? Like I usually, much? I'm trying to eat anywhere from 220 to 250 grams of protein a day. So that's like two steaks and two chicken breasts a day pretty much. That's how much I'm eating. Plus, usually anywhere from three to four of these a day. That's 30 grams of protein. So trying to get back ripped, working out. We're doing boxing, what, swimming workout. And then I do a like an hour walk each and every day. So in a little yoga class. So I'm working out like four hours a day, working on the laptop in the studio four hours a day, resting, partying. No, I'm not partying, but I'm in grind mode. You see what I'm saying? We in the studio. I got to set the studio up right here and start streaming. We coming live like Casa Net soon. Champ got to show me how to stream. We hitting the boxing. See if my hand right, see if my gloves come in. We just in here, oh, about to tear up some shit. It's random though, but health is wealth. Today, we're going to tell you what an Amazon DSP is. I'm going to show you the ins and the outs. We're going to get on the road. You're going to come with me a day. We're about to head down to Amazon in a little bit, show you what a DSP is, how to make some money with it. We hey, we got the vibes on. Nah, donating, man. I'm giving my clothes away. I do this. I gave away three bags last night, and I'm giving another way. Basically, what I'm doing is giving away all the clothes that have color in them in my closet so I can go to all black so I don't have to think about dressing no more. I'm out of that season and dripping and stuff. But my Instagram pics gonna be fire though. You feel me? So I'm gonna drop this shit off. We're giving it to charity. Give your 10%. If you go to church, you know, you give donate 10%, but I give back this way. And actually donates designer clothes too. For sure. He's not we just got giving away like cheap clothes, like brand new. You'll throw, oh, look, you'll throw new. LV shoes in there and it's brand new. Oh, I bet you can go give this to someone. Let me go give this to that guy. I don't know. It's, I never wore this. I never wore the brand new Nike $180 pants. Never wore them. Give them away. Stay out of here. <laughs> That's how we do it. Got to give it away. If it no longer serve you, let it go. Go look in your closet and the stuff you ain't worn in years, months, three months. Give it away. We out of here. Yeah. Give it away. Serve your community. I don't know if I turned the mic off. Nah, it's on. Oh, wait. Disconnected. I, I think I hit it. But yeah, we giving away, man. I just gave away three bags yesterday of all other clothes. So that's what I do. I feel good. It make me feel lighter. So that's what we on. You want some free shirts? They're not used or anything. Give you away think, clothes. Do you think they sell those clothes for money in there? Of course they do. But I don't think about it. Once I let it go, I know I'm giving it away for the right cause. So whatever. Usually I go to the lady in there. I should have went to the lady in the laundry mat, but I don't know if she at work right now. And she'll give away my shoes. She'll find somebody on Facebook and give them away for me. But yeah, I got to donate every few months. You see it, I donate, I get low. Like I just had a feeling like I need to get lighter. I need to make room for new things to come into my life. So I do that by giving away old stuff. I spent all yesterday just cleaning up my house reorganizing, getting rid of stuff that I don't no longer need, that no longer serves me. Um, and once you get rid of that, feel lighter, that's less decision, that's less things I have to make decisions about and think about in my life so I can make room for the stuff that I need to be thinking about. You know what I'm saying? So Besides clothes, what are other things in your life you can do that with? Clothes, like money, donating your time, what, uh, eliminating distractions? Like just have one thing. Yeah, like go to your desk, like your work desk remove it clean it up unclutter it your car unclutter your car like i'll probably give away all this i gotta clean up this just cleaning up your space organizing your life to make sure like everything is in place and that you can think clearly like you know what i'm saying like being junky sometimes it's cool but sometimes you got to clean up reshuffle organize like i need to move the furniture i think in the studio i want to put that take that couch out and just put the chairs you know what i'm saying 
like refreshing it type shit. Oh, I missed it. How do you even drive in here? But we'll figure it out. Who's that dude? He chilling. Is this it? Do he live here? Can we? He gonna let us in? But yeah, right now we at the armory. We trying to see. We gotta see how much it is for looking at. It was. Even know. What is an armory? Like what are the they? Armory. This is like the old military building where they used to, I guess, store supplies and military operation. That's so loud. But um, yeah, we here at the armory in Niagara Falls. It's for sale though for 2.5 million on loop net. If any investors want to help me get this building, let me know. We can, it's got a basketball gym. We can make it a gym, put a boxing ring in there. We can make it a content studio. Anybody want to go in, yeah, 2.5 million? So you put the DJI up to the... What? What? No, the camera. What? See if you can see anything. Yeah, we peeking in through there, but yeah. We want there, it's dusty. I'm gonna look it up on loop net though. Look at these big bay doors. You can hook some tanks. You can put some vehicles like the Fast and the Furious garage when they was at the one in Miami where the police raided it, but they hid all the cars in here. We could put all the car meat stuff up in here. Hellcats, track out with G-Wagons. Ain't no messing with it either if you're pulling nah, a Ferrari into this place. For sure. Nah, I like it. it. It's super secure, bricked out building, old school. You know it's got good bones and structure. Probably got to do a lot of renovation. Uh, but yeah, it's the Niagara Falls Armory. Anybody want to know? We, we trying to get it in though. No. Just a good investor project in Niagara Falls. Perfect location. What, less than point, a mile, point five miles from Niagara Falls. So it'll be a good tourist attraction to put any kind of good touristy events in. It's bagged off over there. It's in a random location. Get the Niagara Falls Armory. Any investors, let us know. 2.5 million on LoopNet. I have to check it out. In a good location, good food, simply sold right there. Good soul food restaurant, good apartments on there. Will Niagara Falls make a comeback? Like I got downtown it. area. I know anything can make a comeback, but the people, everybody I talk to in Niagara Falls has such a negative attitude. Like, I don't know, it would take a whole bunch of people from outside of Niagara Falls to really see the vision. Cause you think about it, if the Canadian side, if the Canadian side is booming, why wouldn't the regular side be booming? You know what I mean? Like, what's the difference? It's all political. It's the, whoever's the governor, the mayor, whatever they doing in Niagara Falls, they don't want to see it like that on purpose. Right, same line. Just... For sure. Anything can be fixed in America. How you doing, sir? Good. You know, you know about this building? No, I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah? yeah? You from Niagara Falls? No, Long Island? What brought you out here? <laughs> I like that. I like that. Oh, this is a cool building though. I don't know why, is it, is it for sale? We need to call Sam. What? You give us a history on there? You want to tell yeah. us some history? We're recording a documentary. Oh, okay. Give us some history on it. The, uh, the United States has armories all over the country. It's, it's civil service. What's your ride? Yeah, the National Guard. Okay, we'll walk with you to there. They keep, they keep weapons here. So this is military Not weapons? Anymore. Okay. I don't know if they're still here. Yeah. Which is a bomb shelter. A bomb shelter? Yeah. Wow. This is old school. This yeah. is that's crazy. Something like that. I it. Yeah. It's very interesting. Nah, for sure. I come from military family. Okay. Well, thank you for that history on there. You have a I'm, great day. I'm going to Warren Air Force Base. Warren Air Force Base? Where's that at? Maine. Maine? That's awesome. Strategic spot. Yeah. For sure. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Wow. Yeah. Out here exploring this great building, great Niagara Falls. What's going on down here? What's going on? Right down the streets, man. Yeah. Half the house is abandoned. Half the house is abandoned. You know why? Financial situation, politics. Financial politics. All right. All right. You have a blessed day, sir. Lack of, uh, lack of the proper administration. The government? Is the government fault? Yeah. That's it. You got it from our guy. But yeah. Check it out this building, man. You see what it is. Told you. There's no reason for this. It's the government. What's going on with the fuck? We paying taxes. We paying business owners paying taxes and you got the armory out of business. How's the United States armory go out of business and for sale? Look at the bones though. Like he said, over a hundred years of history in here. The struck, he said a bunkers under there with Jeeps and all that kind of stuff. You can hide any kind of things in there. 
This is for sale for I think 2.5 million. Any investors, get at me in this video when you see this video. Let's put a play together to get this. It could be a gym, a content studio. I've seen pictures. It's got a whole full size basketball court in there. Put them up. Huh? We gotta put the pictures up. What? This From LoopNet? Yeah. Oh yeah, we can do it. Let's go up here. Let's see what's up here in this. They've been partying out here. It's a lot of beer, a lot of a lot of junk cigarette cartons out here. Cool building, sturdy brick. It probably can withstand a bomb. If he said it had a bomb shelter out there, that's crazy. Spider webs I'm walking through. Somebody got the Sprinter cargo vans right there. They, they've been paying attention to the videos over there. Can you get on top of that roof from there? Are you tall enough? I could, I just don't know how to do that kind of stuff. I'm about to go up there. You go do that, yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. But yeah, we up here though, man. I can see, the, I can almost see the falls from here, I think. I can see Canada. This it's a nice building, but yeah. Niagara Falls Armory, let me know. Any investors, serious DM, hit my DMs, hit me, whatever you want to see. If you know anything about Niagara Falls and history, you know over 20 million people a year come visit the falls. We could make this into an apartment building, a content studio, a gym, it's multiple use, a car garage, an exotic car rental studio. Over 20 million of people visit, get up there. That's crazy. You gonna go up there? He going up there. I didn't tell him to do this. Uh, if anybody watching this, I'm not gonna be able to get up there. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, that's steep. Huh? Yeah, that's steep. Yeah, not worth my life. Nah, don't do it. That's right, Chin. Making good decisions. Yeah, he making good decisions. That's right, Chin. He been walking with that lady for. What's that? Look, even this building right here. Where? Like across the street, like For that sure. white one. Like what is that? Everything's abandoned on this street, like he said though. If you come to Niagara Falls, if you go just over to Canada, Niagara Falls, whenever I say I, I live in Niagara Falls, people be like, what, Canada? They don't even think you, the Niagara Falls United States exists. Um, but yeah, check it out. A lot of abandoned real estate. But I tell you, anybody with a good investor mind, we can make this an Airbnb park, a container park, cause six months out the year, this turns the most revenue. This is a, one of the most seasonal, cities in america at its shittiest too really. yeah it's pretty bad too it's bad you know extreme poverty you wouldn't think that uh but we need more jobs we need investors to come here you get the best summer yet or winter the winter isn't even as bad as buffalo in niagara falls so it got it might be snow on the ground crazy snow maybe one good time a year but like we had probably what three four heavy snows but you can still drive around and maneuver them so don't let that uh deter you what time is it on your phone uh, 134. Gotta call it 10 minutes. That's all right. I came quick. Yeah, we out here. Good area. I mean, there's banks across the street. It can't be that bad. It's a credit union, a lot of law offices. The falls is probably what? Five, 20 minute walk from right here to Niagara Falls. You're gonna see it. Niagara Falls Armory. It ain't like no squatters or nobody in here. They secure it. Brick building bars on all the windows. Water fountain right there? Probably, nah. Cigarette ash dumper for But yeah. We in the falls, man. People first, looking for some investors. Let's get it. Who wanna get this building? I told you, we can make this apartments, condos, tourist attraction, businesses. It's got a bunker if they try to blow us up. Uh, very strategic building. We can paint the bricks. I say condos, content studio, gym. We can make it a boxing gym, a workout gym, any kind of gym, multi-use, good building in the middle of the falls, not being put to use. Exotic car rental on the side over there. We can have garages, garage doors, across the street from banks, lawyers, all that in a good area. Whirlpool Street, Niagara Falls State Armory. Let's get it. Three pieces of bills, all bills. <laughs> when you start AU. You play on the like you be traveling all over. I mean, that term is in Virginia, but we got, we probably like, four in Buffalo, and then we got maybe one in, like, right uh, This is your senior season. You got to ball out, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Trying to ball. Trev, you know where you're going to go yet? Uh, I'm going to be going to Kinesis and trying to walk on the team. Hey, yeah. damn. Rival. <laughs> That's y'all rival? Big time. Three, I got three pieces of mail. One more box. It, it's like a package. Like a mailer. 
Mailer. It's my toothpaste, the organic toothpaste, Dr. Bronner. So it's like acid. Get it in your eyes, it's gonna burn you up. You got big dog Trevor, don't get Trevor, man. Hey, you start on the rise, Trevor. We need him to get a big dog scholarship somewhere. Come check him out. Who been, what high school you go to? Homeschool. Yeah. Who's that from? Somebody from Crenshaw. Ooh, well, Crenshaw Boulevard. I was like, nah, I know oh, where this okay. is. These the air fresheners. What? Yeah. Oh. These the air fresheners. I gotta find. Uh, I grew up in Southern California for a For real? Time. I love SoCal. Yeah, I, 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 grew, I grew up. My home is Northern California, so Bay Area. Yeah. So I grew up in Ooh, air fresheners for the truck drivers. Go. Oh, now nah, that went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Kick you up. Well, they ain't kicking shit out, but yeah. He got it on the way, get Manufacturer, we'll try them out, bro. Check in the mail. <laughs> Thank y'all. Y'all have a great day. For sure. That's checking the mail every day. I get five, three, ten, five. It be bills, unemployment letters, stuff I ordered. I was running low on soap. This, this is your business. What's here? This the business mailbox. Uh, if you got a business, you need a mailbox, a P.O. box, some type of thing to get your mail. You're going to get so much junk, spam mail that you shouldn't get it to your address. People can track you. Uh, I'd rather live anonymous, but yeah. Can't wait to see these air fresheners, uh, a p potential sponsor partnership deal with these air fresheners. I don't know what they are, but we'll try them out and let you know how they go. That's all in a day. More protein shakes. Never go wrong with some water. Got my piano back there when I started doing these piano lessons. But yeah. Just another day in the life of an entrepreneur. We got some meetings coming on. Just keep following us. I can't even smell it. Probably gotta pop them out. Another Amazon truck pulling up. It's all around us. Logistics everywhere. His motorcycle speaker's loud. All right, so what drew you into this Amazon DSP and what's been the most rewarding aspect of being part owner? Man, with the DSP, I've been in logistics all my life, 15 years pretty much. That was my college degree, supply chain logistics. And so I look at trucks differently. Like here, most people see a dusty, dirty 18-wheeler. I know that these guys got loads in excess, five, 10,000, 100,000, 50,000. So every time I see a truck on the road, I see money. I see goods being transported. You never know what's in here. It could be cars, pallets, gold, guns, food, anything that you literally look. 80% of the things that you have in your house came from a truck. So. I know it's loads of valuable, good currency in here. To drive a truck, you have to have a million dollar insurance policy. So it's million dollar loads, $100,000 loads, $5,000 loads, all kind of stuff in the trucking industry. So I've been in it, that's what I knew all my life. And I'm never gonna have a, a worry about job security in this industry because I know how to get stuff from A to B regardless of whatever's going on, you know? What's the difference between these big 18 wheelers and sprinters startup cost wise and do you see more um, new people getting right into 18-wheelers or Sprinter delivery? Um, I know for what's best for me, why I chose Sprinters is because the program, cargo vans with Amazon was that, but they have that as well. But I know with Sprinters, you just need a good driver license. It's less, it's less overhead. All you need is a valid driver license, your DOT, your MC number, and you're good. See, with the 18-wheelers, you gotta go get your CDL. Now, it doesn't take long to get that three to six months, but I don't have to do any training, any extra training for my drivers for the um, just the van startup. But um, the money, I mean, of course, the 18-wheelers, over time, they're going to make more per load. That's why I have to have 40 and 50 sprinters to make the amount probably the same amount as five or six, 10, 18-wheelers because the loads are so much bigger. But it takes longer to get started up. I can get this started up in a month with an 18-wheeler business i could get it started up but you got to find more qualified drivers i can get anybody that's over the age of 21 with a clean driver le record these guys got to go through background checks all kind of stuff red tape to get on now they get paid more because the loads are bigger they got more certifications and all that stuff but from startup startup time i would go with the cargo vans and then i would evolve into that it's no wrong answer you pick what you want to do, but if you want to get started tomorrow, get you some cargo vans, get that course down below. Also, we got a community coming, man. School community, plenty of content. I'm giving all my knowledge away for just $5. 
from right now, I got the friends and family deal going for just $5 a month. That's less than Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. You can get all the uh, unlimited knowledge, access to me bi-weekly and all my seven-figure, eight-figure billionaire entrepreneur friends coming live from my community for just $5 a month. If you join in the next 30 days, then after that, it's going up to $25.99 a month. So Don't tell you I didn't warn you. That community isn't just trucking though, it's a no, bunch of different things. It's everything learn. I learned in my life and I'm giving it to you. You see this YouTube? I'm getting paid for these videos. I'll teach you how to create YouTube videos. I'll teach you how to use AI to make your business go faster. I'll teach you content creation. I'll teach you internet marketing. I'll teach you how to do a mailing list, email marketing. I'll teach you all the skills I've known up to this point besides trucking. Trucking is what I do in my sleep. But all these other skills, you're not seeing me operate with, but I'll teach you how. It's, the internet is very, you know what I'm saying? Like decentralized. So it's a lot of different skills you need to know. In my community, the People First community, we're gonna provide you with all the skills you need to be successful in trucking and on the internet. Because we're in the, the age of digital content where you, you gotta just be more than, more than what you do. You have to have an internet presence. Nobody takes you serious when, if you go to show them your internet stuff. That's like your new resume, so you gotta build that up. A lot of your viewers are gonna say, oh, if he's so successful in trucking, like, why not just stick to that? But tell them how important it is to have multiple streams, even if they're not making as much, because yeah. one can shut down instantly. Yeah, you gotta always, you know, diversify and be learning. You gotta connect the street. Just because I'm a trucking company don't mean I don't need to know about truck. Let's go on the playground. Just because I'm a trucking company doesn't mean you shouldn't know how to create videos. Now I know how to create trucking videos that's getting more business for me by teaching people trucking. I like to teach people I know. That's trucking, that's content creation. Let's see, internet marketing, newsletters, news lists, sponsorships, ads. Don't just limit yourself, that's the old way. Our old parents, they just wanna work 30 years and get a retirement. I can't depend on the government to feed me. You just saw in this other video, the guy said, why would the, why would the armory shut down? because the government let it shut down. In Niagara Falls, a tourist attraction with over 20 million play, the government army building is shut down. You can't give nobody the power to pay you. Even if you got a job that pay you $400,000 a year, if they decide to fire you, guess what? You just gonna be out in the, in the ocean swimming by yourself. Like every time you have a job, you're giving somebody the power to fire you. You just think it's not gonna be you. You don't think, you think cause you make $150,000 a year that you won't get fired. You think cause you're a doctor or a lawyer that that company can't fire you. If you start building your own business, creating content, using the skills that you need, you think I go down here backwards? Going down here backwards. So yeah, I know you're a doctor and a lawyer, but can you do this on a random Monday? <laughs> that didn't hurt as bad. So real talent is pulling money out of the universe without depending on like a big corporation. Yeah, for sure. You have a you have billion dollar ideas. You think Coca-Cola, you think Apple started, Amazon started. We all seen how they started. Amazon started in a garage on a desk and grew to a billion dollar company. Just because most people are scared to start because they're comparing themselves to Nike, Apple, Google, Microsoft. Those companies have been doing this for 20, 30 years. You got to start where you're at. And I would suggest you start by providing a service or selling a product. Providing a service, can you cut the grass? Do you know how to paint? Do you know how to pressure wash? Or um, selling a product, make a sandal, make some socks, make some tights, make some t-shirts, make some hats, make a microphone cover. Sell a product, you gotta find a product to sell. I teach you all that in my community. Join the People First community right now for just $5, and a month is gonna be $25. I won't know you no more. I'm getting on there, Zoom calls, bi-weekly, inviting all my entrepreneurs, seven, eight-figure entrepreneur Wednesdays. friends. Every Wednesday, 6 to 6.30. I'm gonna keep it brief. I got over 2,000 videos on YouTube about content creation. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you do it. No, oh, who smashed on the earthworm? But yeah. So in the community, they can personally message you. You have meetings every other Wednesday. Yeah. And then you can get access to all the courses. And then the way you level up is by commenting and getting gestures back on your comments for sure so you got to interact to get the higher level yeah you got to interact this is a community <clears throat> you can learn from i'm building a community because i don't want you to just think i'm the know-it-all i learn from each and everybody every day in my life it doesn't matter where you are in life i can learn from everybody so i want uh, uh 
a conducive community. If you know how to do something, tell us, teach us in our community what you know how to do so we can all be aware of what you do and learn how to make money for it or support your business. I want this to be a marketplace. Just, just imagine Amazon, but for education and everybody swapping skills and teaching each other how to learn stuff. And you might get more business out of the community. So it's a chance to network, meet high level people. I only want high level people in my community. You know what I'm saying? And no drama, no mess, just straight getting to the business, getting to the money, cooking ideas in that community. We're going to get it live. It's live right now. We'll get it live right now in beta, but it's already courses up there. It's already interactions. It's also members. cool though, because what, for an hour you charge $150 to talk somewhere, whereas Fact. in a community it's $5 a month. You'll be messaging all the time, but then you have one Zoom a week where Fact. people can always join and ask you questions. So it's Fact. really a steal. You can cancel, leave whenever you have all the knowledge you need. Facts. Or just stay in it. Or you can learning. grow with it. Yeah. Five, you, you waste $9.99 a month at Planet Fitness and you don't even go to it. Crunch. Planet Fitness, you go pay for the gym membership and don't. Come to the gym to learn. This is a learning gym, so we about to get to it. Yeah. Hey. Gotta go to Hamburg, hey. To those of you still watching this right now, this man right here, Sid, who's about to have a meeting on this computer or at Amazon right now, he has meetings, maybe like three or four meetings a day, and not just for Amazon. Amazon's probably like 10% of it. He has meetings for content creation, just random, just learning the internet. Like when he says he has $250,000 invested himself to learn information, it's literally no lie. Every one of these meetings, he's learning something. Every single one, he's getting a new idea, someone's teaching him something new. And I feel like a lot of them are repetitive where he's learning something over and over again, but he's still just trying to find that new piece of information to share that's gonna be in that community. Every ounce of knowledge, right? How much knowledge? I said you, you have 250,000 invested in yourself? For sure. For sure, I invest in myself. Cause like you said, it's only one, one piece of information that could change your life. It's not about who you, one right relationship, one networking venture, and one right piece of information can change your life. You know how everybody always think everybody's smarter than them? They smarter than a billionaire or whatever? Like, literally they just know one piece of information. Right now, Sid is on meeting number one, and I'm gonna let you guys look inside to what he's learning and what's on that meeting. You can kind of see how one of those goes for a few minutes. Oh. Um, that's how I get the message out faster, social media, and then I have a community, so I'm just trying to help people. That's all yeah, I put in a business meeting, you know, always on the go. Got to have your laptop, got to have your technology game right. Come holler at my drivers, though. They do. My dispatchers, my managers, they getting it in. So you got one desk inside of Amazon? Yeah, with the Amazon DSP, you get a, the desk space, you get a parking lot. We'll go out and show you the parking lot, all that type of stuff. Holler at the guys, see what they got going on before we get up out of here. Check that out. So... One of the worst ones is a seven thousand dollar one, but I'm gonna try to do some Just tricks. Jofer, yeah. Jofer ended up buying a clear coat or a hey. pearl coat, which is know. part of the truck, the spray that we need. Yeah, right. Scratch. So it is for scratches, right? Because yeah. the famous thing that they love to complain about is scratches and right. and it's like that's not even the case. Like what yeah. they charge is stupid. So here, here's this my fleet manager. What are you talking about? This process. Um, we repair vans that Amazon is the old vans we're getting about our fleet. Amazon coming to replace them, so they he knocking all the damages off of them. We spray paint, we add bumpers, we add new lights, we add new mirrors, getting these vans fixed. So this is the first one that we had. This How many we got to turn in? Twenty. Oh god, it's like twenty-nine. Ooh, that's a lot. Do you like that? So here is the first inspection. Here's yeah. the condition report to it. Uh, you were looking at a grand total of body one glass one part. You had a total of seventeen eighty seven fifty. Yep. Right. And then here's the second condition report. Hey. Where you now pay zero. So you gotta get it. Great team. Here it is, see? Hey. Zero, zero, zero. Big J. Making it happen. Let's and keep knocking them down. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I appreciate so, that. I'm waiting on a few things to come in with Joe, perhaps. Yeah. And then I got some things at home. I kind of yeah. want to let give me, a shot. Let and me know. Hopefully, we could end up saving them. I actually had a paper here. I yeah. Know, nah, I'll come back. Uh, What's the day? Um, I'll be back Wednesday and we see where we at. Uh, here, you guys get a certain amount. I'm going to see. I'm learning this. We go. Have, so, here's how it works is normally you pay. Yeah. And then from that payment, put that payment in for a reimbursement. Right. And then you get reimbursed whatever you paid in terms of fixing the damages to the truck. No, that makes sense. But we're still waiting for the, the fleet improvement fund. Yeah. Because it should have 
Maybe. Oh shit, Joker. That's wild. Right, bad, bro. Bro. That's going crazy. They missed they missed right. They, right. they can't get it. <laughs> little damage repair for Amazon. Oh. They using AI. AI is about to take over. They don't even have a guy at the body shop. They using all computers. No, they just trying to see how the condition of them that they taking back. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that's okay. We, we, we working on it. All right. Appreciate you, champ. Oh, I'll yeah. be back on Wednesday. Oh yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.